good morning. I thought it would be fun to take y'all along with me and show y'all what I ate in a day and what I did in my day. And y'all can see what I've been doing to try to lose weight. Um, but for right now, I've got to quickly get ready and go to the gym because I am taking two different classes and I can't take the camera into the classes with me. I just think that would be really rude. And people are self-conscious anyways at the gym. So I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. So I'm not going to take y'all in the classes with me. But I'm going to do a, uh, oh gosh, what is it called? Oh, it's called Body Pump. I am doing a Body Pump class, which is like lifting weights. And I love that class because I'm really into like the strength training thing right now. And then I'm doing a, a fit yoga class. And my back really hurts because I had to sleep in Harrison's bed last night. So, yeah, I really need some yoga to stretch all that out and make me feel better. But first, before I do all that, I've got to get myself completely ready and I've got to go get the baby and get him ready. You gotta pull your little horns down. Yeah. Other girls, I know y'all have that problem. And when I go to the gym, I use my husband's deodorant because girl deodorant, it just don't cut it. my son Wyatt for the old that do not know this is my youngest and we're going to lay him down and get him all cleaned up and dressed It's a good thing that we're running late because the um, gym daycare only will keep Wyatt for two hours. And if I do both the classes, it's a little bit over two hours by the time I get out of there. So it kind of works out that we are running late because I'll just be late to body pump. It's fine. I'll just, <laughs> just miss a couple of squats. He's a squat. So I fed him a little snack while I was washing my hands and getting everything together and putting it in the car. So he's had his snack, so he is good to go. Oh, I need the keys. He's good to go to daycare or whatever you want to call it. I call it daycare because they keep in my kid during the day. So I am all done at the gym. I did my two classes, that body pump class, I love it. It teaches me different ways to lift my weights and different things to do with them. And I can feel myself getting stronger with the longer I take that class. I love that one. I, that one is definitely my favorite. And I do that one three times a week. So definitely getting my body pump on. And then the yoga. Oh, I needed the yoga so bad today. Like my lower back in a couple of positions, like felt like it was about to spaz out. So my back definitely needed to be stretched. And when I was lifting today, like some of my um, like positions where I had to be bending my back a lot, it definitely was hurting. So the yoga afterwards to stretch my back out helped, but it's still hurting really bad. And the reason for that is because Harrison, my oldest son, he sleeps in our bed most nights. I'm, I'm lying. He sleeps in our bed every single night. So uh, last night he was dreaming a bunch and I kept waking him up trying to get him like out of the dream. 
and he would instantly fall back asleep and start like kicking and flailing around and I kept him on my side of the bed where my husband could get a good night's sleep for a while but after hours and hours of not sleeping I think it was like 3 30 by the time that I decided to go to my son's bedroom and sleep in his empty bed because it's just laying there and his bed is it's a what is it called it's a twin but it's not a very good mattress because it is an a uh, top bunk mattress so it's not very thick so it just it wasn't very good to sleep on and then uh, our older dog was like making noise in the hallway and I didn't get to sleep until like five so I'm running on very few hours of sleep but that's okay we're still gonna go on with our day we still did our workouts I feel good about what I did so now I'm going to go home and make my smoothie feed Wyatt some lunch and Harrison will be home from school in just a little bit and then uh, when Wyatt goes down for his nap that's usually when I work on my editing and stuff like that so yeah let's go home and I will show y'all how I make my delicious smoothies I make the exact same smoothie every single day because it's fantastic so let's get to that so I'm gonna share with y'all how I make my protein smoothie every single day and I have Hulk here to assist me apparently so uh, I buy my own strawberries when they're like really cheap like a dollar or something or like low in the two dollar range and I freeze them myself I just cut the tops off of them and freeze them uh, if not I go to like Costco or something and buy like their big four pound bags for like ten dollars fantastic deal so I just put a handful of strawberries in there I do about that many and I don't like actually measure any of this but I've made it so many times I just kind of eyeball it and then I use this this is the carb master vanilla yogurt by Kroger and I'm sure there's other versions out there by other companies but this one has way less carbs than the regular yogurt and I don't like Greek yogurt so this one does fine for me so I do about a cup of this about a cup of yogurt and then to save on fat I use the PB2 um, or I use the PB fit either one of them is good I get the one with the least amount of ingredients I can find and I do two tablespoons just about of that and I got this humongous thing at Costco for I want to say it was like 11 something really good deal and then this protein powder is the protein powder that I found with the least amount of ingredients all the other ones had all kinds of stuff I didn't know what it was didn't know how to pronounce it or anything like that so I went with this one and if I wouldn't have gotten chocolate it would have been straight whey protein nothing extra added nothing just the protein but I like chocolate so I got this one but like look at the ingredients list like it's not very long not very long at all pretty good and it has a scoop of this has 10 yeah. grams of protein yeah. and I do two yeah. scoops. Yeah. 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 And since my strawberries are frozen, I don't add milk into it because it's plenty cold enough. But if I have fresh strawberries, then I do add in ice to make it more of a like cold smoothie. And then I just put, oh. and then I just put like a fourth of a cup of water in there, put my lid on, and I have a Nutribullet. This thing does so good 
at blending up whatever I want to do. So we're going to cut this part because it's really noisy. I like it like blended the crap. So I blend the crap ton out of my smoothies and it is just like frothy, beautiful liquid, just like you would pay $7 for at Smoothie King. So, so I went ahead and put White down for his nap. He didn't want any of his lunch. He just went to go to sleep. So I dumped him in bed and he is already on his way to dreamland. So that means I get to enjoy my smoothie in peace. So I'm going to sit here and upload my video and do some work stuff while I drink my smoothie. But I wanted to tell y'all that this delicious smoothie is only 275 calories and I think the protein on it with the yogurt too because the yogurt has tons of protein is 37 grams of protein in this one little thing to start me off for the day. So that's pretty good. Um, it is noon and this is around the time that I usually eat my first meal and this is usually it. So, yeah, so that gives you a little bit of reference of how late in the day that I eat, but I like to do fasted cardio or whatever, fasted workouts. Um, that seems to make me eat less in a day, and I seem to do a better workout, and I'm not, I don't have a digestion because something's trying to digest in my stomach. And I try to get through a whole thing of water in my workout, but today I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't drink very much water. That is one thing I always struggle with. So try your best to drink more water. Don't be like me. Drink more than, what is that? Maybe a cup? Yeah. During your two hour workout. So that is one thing I definitely need to get better at is drinking water. So maybe I'll do a water challenge to like keep myself accountable and motivate myself to do that. Maybe we can do that. So now to clear off my first jug of the day. So I'm going to sip on my water while I continue to work and then I will be back to show y'all what I'm eating for lunch. So I'll see you in a little bit. So I really want like a vermicelli like soup or something for lunch. This sounds really good and I don't have any meals prepped right now. I haven't been on my game. So I'm going to make a shrimp vermicelli. So I already got um, my shrimp like shells going in this pot to flavor up the water and then I've got my shrimp going in this pan and I'm just putting some garlic salt on them just really simple and letting those warm up and then once my water is good and flavored up I'm going to put this vermicelli in there and it's made out of rice so it is gluten free but you can see from the ingredients list that this stuff is pretty good for you. It just has 130 calories and a little bit of sodium, a little bit of carbs, and that is it. So it's a better alternative than rice, I think. And then to that water, to the, my shrimp water that I've strained back there, I put a little bit of hoisin sauce. And then at the end, when it's done, I put some lemon. And then... Uh, over the top of it, I'm going to put some sriracha. In my garden, I have some green onion growing, and I also had some Thai basil. So I went out there and I grabbed some of that. I wish that my cilantro plant would have made it, but it died. So I don't have any cilantro to put in this today, but typically I would add that in as well. I feel like I have to like scoot down here. I love having fresh herbs in the garden where I can just run out there and pick a couple, come in here, chop them up for my meal, and then throw them in something. And it makes it taste so good because they're super fresh. I and mean, you can get these in the store too and you know use it for a couple of different dishes where you don't just waste them. But if you have a chance to have an herb garden in your backyard, you should really do it because I love it. So while my noodles are finishing up, I wanted to show y'all what I work out in. So obviously I work out in leggings, but I don't wear um, my sweatshirt and I don't wear a shirt either. I just work out in my sports bra and leggings. And I know a lot of people are like really self-conscious to do that at the gym, but I'm just not. I don't care that other people are looking at me. 
uh, if they are looking at me, I don't, I'm not looking at them to tell. Um, and actually when I wear a shirt, I feel way less confident than I do if I just go ahead and show what's underneath my shirt. And I don't like wearing a shirt because it makes me sweat more. I don't like to sweat. So if I can sweat as little as possible but get a good workout in and it encourages me to work harder, uh, yeah, I don't think that I should have to wear clothes. I don't know. So tell me how y'all feel about that. Are y'all self-conscious to just go in a sports bra and leggings at the gym? Or do you feel the other way and you want to wear your hoodie and everything and not be seen at all and like have your hood up with your headphones? Which one are you? Because I definitely am the other one. Like I really don't care to just be me and just have my flaws showing because that's what I'm at the gym working on anyways so might as well show everybody like hey see this look it's getting smaller in these places hopefully <laughs> I pour every bit of this into the bowl <clears throat> I want the good juices as well you could pour off the juices and your noodles would be like flavored already pretty good uh, if you wanted it to be like a dry dish, but I want it as a soup today, so I'm going to leave my broth in there. So I just put my noodles with my broth, all of my delicious shrimp, my beautiful fresh veggies or herbs, and then I'm getting my lemon juice and do like that much lemon juice, like a splash. And then, oh, no, no, not that one. And then I do like some squiggly lines of sriracha, so like that much sriracha. And that right there is my delicious shrimp vermicelli soup. And it's really good for you. I'll have to add up the calories and let y'all know after I've already eaten it. But I know it's not that much, but it is so good and it just makes you all warm inside and today it's a little bit cold I feel like a stuffy nose coming on so this just seemed like the perfect thing to have for lunch and I use this big old fat spoon where I can like slurp up the, the um, good broth and everything yeah can't wait to eat this oh and also I finally finished a whole container of water so I started on my second one. I've barely broken into it, but yeah, I have started another water. So go me on that right. So usually I put an avocado in this as well, but I only have one avocado left and I really want to save it for dinner. So that is the only thing that I would change about this meal is I really wish it had some avocado in it. I finished another half of my water, finished most of my delicious vermicelli soup. When I leave the shrimp in there, I don't eat like the last little bit of the soup because sometimes there's like little legs and shells and stuff that the stranger didn't get. So it tastes really, really good, but if that stuff bothers you, don't make it that way. So I also wanted to tell y'all that while Harrison was having his lunch, and I was on the phone with my cousin. I had a serving of these Mama. nuts. Just a minute, baby. And these the nuts are uh, 14 grams of fat and 170 calories. And they are so freaking good. We got these at Costco. Yeah, if you have a Costco around you, go get you these. Oh my God, amazing. Oh, the day has not been kind to my heart. I was going to make chicken fajitas for dinner where I could have that avocado, but my husband really wanted chicken noodle soup and you know what, it hit the spot. So uh, we ate it so quickly I didn't film it at all, but this is what is left of it. And I don't know, there's just something about homemade chicken noodle soup that just warms your soul. So I will put all the calories that I ate for the entire day right here where you can see my total and I did finish another thing of my water so I only had technically eight glasses of water today so that's not very good at all but at least you got to see what I did eat in the day um, what I'm trying to do to lose weight but I hope that you enjoyed watching seeing what I ate for the day 
I know it's really noisy with the dishwasher going and everything else, but I will see y'all in the next one, guys. Bye.